Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back and today I want to break down my God Squad. A lot of people have been asking for this. They've been like, yo, let's get a lot of updates on what your God Squad is now. What are your thoughts? Why do you have guys certain positions? Which are your favorite players right now that you think are the best at their position? So, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown and go through my lineup. I think this is the perfect time to do this as well because we're kind of waiting on 2k. They added some new cards in the game, a Diamond Jimmy Butler and some other players. But they're not actually in packs, not in the game yet. They're still being, I guess, worked on behind the scenes. So I guess I'll do a pack of one of those later tonight. But for now, we uh, build the God Squad, and I'll talk about this because I've been meaning to do one of these. It has been a uh, long time since I've actually done one of these. So the first player of the God Squad, pretty predictable. I've used him a whole bunch, and it's definitely going to be this Oscar Robertson card. Out of all the point guards, I think his size makes him the best. I've been playing really solid with him, not shooting the best at his three ball. But, man, can he do everything? He can rebound. He can assist. He can block shots. Like, he can do a lot. Being that big, his height makes him a huge advantage. And then, uh, of course, just having the uh, Hall of Fame badge is huge. He can score, pass, do everything. So I think he should be starting on the God Squad. Definitely the best point guard, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, there are better point guards like Westbrook and things like that. I just don't have those guys. Obviously, I'll have to pick up Westbrook at some point. But I might be waiting for the last Westbrook, the final edition one, the Pink Diamond, if we get that. Going to the shooting guard, it's really obvious. It's going to be Pink Diamond Kobe, man. I haven't even shot that well with him. Again, I've told you guys that we've been kind of struggling with him, but that's just because of the update. I think Diamond Kobe, man, we're not even shooting the best percentages with him, but he is a monster. I feel like you can score any point in the game with him. He's just the card I go to if I need a bucket, and I mean, why not? It is freaking Pink Diamond Kobe Bryant. To the small forward position, this one is kind of tough because there's a lot of players who I really have liked. This Kevin Durant has been one of my favorite cards in my team this year. But I'm going to go with Julius Irving. This card can do more. It's better at attacking the basket and finishing. And it still has that same shooting ability as that Durant card. All it doesn't have really is a couple of the Hall of Fame badges. But it still has five of its own. And I can still add some badges to him. So I'll put Dr. J at the three on the God Squad. Going to the four position. This is going to be a new pickup who I just got. The Kevin Garnett, man. This card is absolutely beastly. It, 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 it's really good. I like this card, man. In the few games I've played, I haven't shot many threes, but shooting almost 60%, doing a great job of getting steals. He hasn't blocked any shots yet, but I'm sure those will come. Only have played a couple games with him, but I've liked this card. Again, he just gets a lot of offensive rebounds, which I'm loving at the power forward position. And yeah, again, he can stretch the floor tiny with an 80 some three. I just got to continue to uh, try and take those shots, I guess, because I haven't shot any. At the five position, Pink Diamond Wilt. I love this card. He is probably my best center that I've used all year. Damn near 76%, almost 77 actually. Like, so good. Such a good card, man. He blocks shots. He gets steals. He's a decent passer. He's amazing at rebounding. And uh, yeah, again, at 7 for 1, I think he's the best center in the game. Obviously, he can't do the scoring that other guys can do. But when you have a God Squad like this, there's almost too much scoring to go around. So it's actually better to have a defensive player or two in your lineup. So that's why it's kind of nice to have him out there. And then we also have, you know, the Oscar Robinson who can pass to all these great players. So that is the starting five of the God Squad. But honestly, the bench might be low-key better. Like, again, y'all have seen my bench. Like, it it's nasty. But let's get into that. The sixth man. Now, this is a tough one. But I like Jerry West. I actually really do. This car can shoot pretty damn well. Again, around the 50-40 clip for me. Getting that up to almost 50. And I really struggled with the beginning of this card. And again... I think he's one of the better defenders in the game at the point guard position. His defensive stats, I don't know what they are, but he's just always really good. I mean, 95, 98, and stuff like that. So they are really good, but he is nasty on defense, and his badges are pretty good too. Mid-range dead eye, tie with score, which I love. So really good as a six man. Definitely a major key part of my team. So I got to get it back out there. Let's move on to the actual bench crew who I'd play when I just got to shift guys in. These guys are all tired. Maybe I use Jerry West for a little bit, but it's time to bring out the bench. Bench point guard, I could put a lot of guys, but I'm going with this pink diamond Dwayne Wade. Still an absolute monster of a card. We have him with the speed shoe on him. Actually, the three-point shooting shoe. Sorry, my bad. I mixed him up with T-Mac. But yeah, with that three-point shooting stew, I think he's uh, still pretty beastly, man. It makes his mid-range even better. And he can just run the offense like a poor guy can. He's still got really good passing, really good defensively. That card is a beast, man. It's definitely slept on. And I've shown y'all that. We've gone off with him. Let's go to the bench shooting guard. Now, this one is a little unconventional, but we're going to go with Tracy McGrady, man. This Diamond T-Mag is so good. I've shown you guys. He can score from pretty much anywhere. He's shooting crazy clips. We've got 63 and 54, and I think that's even come down again. I struggled over the past past week. I've been terrible, and uh, still, he's shooting crazy numbers. And with the speed shoe on, he is insane. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. We almost forgot the dynamic duo that comes with him, and boom, we badged that out. 
for this bench. Look at that, man. That is crazy. So we got him at the two, him at the three. Vince Carter, man, has been very good for me as well. Like, I haven't really, you know, loved this card, but, man, he's been low-key a monster. Like, I I've really yet to just try and go off with him in a game. I probably should because, I mean, look at the stats, man. Really good overall, and he uh, does a good job getting steals, which is nice. Gotta love that off the bench. Somebody can play some defense. Last four spots in the team. This one, again, I had to get this Diamond Durant out there at the bench four. I've kind of retooled my team, so it is a small, small lineup off the bench. Um, Whereas in the starting lineup, we've got a lot of big guys, and we have a, more of a conventional lineup. The bench, we're going to have Kevin Durant at the four, stretching the floor with a great percentage. He shoots well. He can rebound a little bit. Not a ton, but three a game. That's not too bad again. It's decent enough to get me by in those bench minutes. And then the last bench spot is going to go to Hakeem Olajuwon. I think this card's a monster. I don't even think I've unlocked his true potential. Got to batch him out. Got to get better with some of the post moves. I'm all right at some of them, but I've got to get better at timing things in the post and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, he will be there, and we will practice on that. Got two more spots on my team for guys who I can just throw on there and I might need or I might use, and I probably will use in some games, but probably not every game will they play. And that's actually going to be this Pink Diamond Kevin Love. I really like this card. I've shown you guys, like, he's playing really well for me still. Um, really still a beastly card, but... Unfortunately, I don't like putting him with that bench crew. It just doesn't fit. But he does fit if someone is running, you know, a big lineup off their bench. They've got maybe two centers, like maybe a Yao Ming and who knows, like a Hakeem. If someone's got something like that, I'll take Durant, maybe move him out. Put in that Kevin Love who's a bit better, a bit bigger. Because, uh, yeah, the Durant, he does get bodied down low. People definitely know how to take advantage of that. If you got a guy like this on him, yeah, it, it can be a disaster. And then the last card in this team, and this one's going to be that John Stockton for if I need to run, again, just like this Kevin Love, a more conventional lineup with the bench. Say he's got a point guard who's just doing really well, we'll throw Stockton out there, or if, if you know, someone's picking up fouls, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, because point guards do tend to pick up a good amount of fouls. That's one thing why I like having Kevin Love and Stockton off the bench is because they're really good. I mean, he has seven Hall of Fame bench. That's one reason why I like running these guys at the bench, man. If someone's picking up them fouls, these guys are perfect to fill in man they're so good and yeah it's almost like you didn't lose anyone so that is the god squad man everybody's been asking it is absolutely incredible i love this team i want to get y'all some gameplay with this full god squad all update and everything like that i'm not sure when we're going to be even getting any better players that i would change into this lineup honestly like I, these guys are really damn good again I, I do think that lebron guard should be out here at some point i may just put him in for this dr j but i just want to use him a little bit more that's the only card that i see in this lineup that really needs to move i still have that lebron so do not worry but obviously that lebron james is only a 95 overall but i've played so much better with this card than i have with that one but that the dr j i just want to try out the dr j see how he is for a little bit and then uh yeah probably put that LeBron James back in the God Squad lineup because he, he is nasty, man. At a 95 overall, this card is probably probably one of my best cards. Definitely my best 95, but again, he is a little bit lower. I want to try the Dr. J who I just got. So for now, Dr. J is going to be in the lineup, but that LeBron James could make his way in. And we could always, you know, if, uh, if I really like that Dr. J, put LeBron at this position right here and then you, we could we could swap my six man we could do a lot of things but i like the way this lineup is right now i really do but um yeah i think there will be some changes made in the future those are my thoughts on my current team and god squad there should be another video out later tonight for sure when the new content comes but uh yeah until then sure let me know what you guys think of the god squad and uh yeah let me know what you guys are rocking for a god squad these days as well man i will thumbs up and uh let reply to some of y'all as i do it always in the comment section i love y'all 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 showing the support y'all coming on saying you enjoyed the video so i'd love to come back at y'all see what y'all working with tweet them at me on twitter i'll try and let y'all know some feedback and things like that and also on instagram a lot of people be dm me their squads on instagram as well but i hope you guys did enjoy links to all that in the description peace man